Okay, so a couple people have been asking about more videos on YouTube pertaining to the Iris Plus and how to do certain things. So I wanted to take a few minutes to just show you some things. So basically one of the requests was um, Geofence. So when you have your Iris Plus um, in Geofence, that makes it so that basically it won't go away from you too far or too high. So I wanted to show you when you're not plugged in to your Iris Plus and you go to Config Tuning in Mission Planner, you'll have Planner as the only option. I changed mine to Feet because I live in the United States and it's easier to understand um, feet than meters. So once you change that to Feet, then what you're going to do is you're going to plug your Iris Plus in to your USB port and we're going to get the COM port 7, which yours could be another COM port. It just depends on what mine went to. Um, then you're going to hit connect. And once it connects, it's going to download all the parameters from the Iris Plus. And you can do this when you're connected to your telemetry radio as well. I'm just doing it direct so that I don't have to waste my batteries. Okay, so it downloaded all the parameters. So now you have more options over here under the config tuning section. So what you're going to do is click on Geofence. So the Geofence is enabled by default on the Iris Plus and um, if you want to change the settings these are how they're set up so you have type which is altitude and circle or circle or altitude or none altitude and circle basically means it's gonna allow you to fly within a certain radius from your home position like where you take off from and not higher than a certain altitude circle is just gonna monitor the radius so it doesn't matter how high you go if you go you know 500 feet 700 feet whatever now remember the limit for the FAA says 400 feet right now and 500 feet when the rules come out um, or you can change it to none which means it doesn't do anything doesn't monitor nothing which is basically the same as disabling it so I don't even know why they have none on there um, so altitude and circle then it's gonna say your action which is return to launch or land and this is basically determined by your fail safe settings so if you go to initial setup and you go to mandatory hardware and you go to fail safe under here you can choose land or RTL so depending on what you choose here will determine what you're choosing in this setting here so if you have it on RTL it's gonna to return to where it took off if you have it on land it's just gonna land right then and there landing is not as good because say you're flying and you're over a house and that's where your maximum radius was it's just gonna land on top of that house so you probably want to do return to launch so that it comes back and lands where you took off so then you have your max altitude so I have mine set at 328 feet it's just a random number because I was just clicking the arrow but you can change this to you know 500 feet whatever you want um, then this is your radius of how far around in a circle you want it to go so you know say you want 1500 feet is your maximum um, then you do that and then you have your return to launch altitude so this is basically like let's just say you were out you know 1500 feet you hit that circle it's gonna go up to 65 feet so if let's just say your max altitude is 500 but you're only at like 40 feet really flying it's gonna jump up to 65 feet or whatever you put in this setting you know if you put a hundred it's gonna jump up to a hundred feet and then come over and return to launch this way you know that you're above everything and you don't have to worry about hitting trees or anything so that's a good thing to do now the other thing I was gonna show you was um, an initial setup under failsafe um, these are for your battery failsafe which is basically the same thing it uses the geofence from here but I was gonna say um, I have mine set at low battery of 10.5 and reserved MAH is 1000 um, so that means that it'll reserve 1000 milliamp hours 
to get back to home when it's done or to land whatever you have it set at so um, anyways I hope this was um, helpful to you and I'll do some more videos with different settings in a future video on YouTube thanks again and hope you subscribe to my channel